illustrated books had been in fashion for approximately a hundred years before a few publishers began issuing single sheet prints in the late 17th century. Utilizing the same process that was employed for book illustrations, the sheets were printed in black ink from a single block and then sometimes hand colored because colored printing with multiple blocks hadn't been invented at the time. A number of the early prints that have survived are unsigned and as such the identity of the artist can only be presumed. The actor is dressed in a black, hugely oversized costume with trailing trousers and square-shaped sleeves that appear like wings. He's wearing a five-spoked wig with a small court hat, which is embellished with stiff hair paper. The red makeup is meant to cement the fierce appearance of this otherworldly protagonist, as is the over two meter long sword whose scabbard rises up behind his back. This costume is typical for the role. The powerful hero who enters the stage to stop an evil lord from executing a hapless man.
In the mid-1760s, the technique of printing with multiple colours was perfected, leading to the development of so-called brocade prints. Since their vibrant printed colours resembled those of lavish textiles. The invention of registration marks that were carved into the blocks allowed the paper to be correctly aligned for all the colour blocks that were needed to create this new type of multicolour print. This technical advance caused a radical shift in the print market, which became much more sophisticated with the inclusion of colours that did not exist in earlier prints and in turn promoting both publishers and artists to adapt to a new style. Whilst most of the beauty prints were still issued in small format, the narrower but taller format was well suited for depicting individual figures and was the preferred choice for act prints during this period. They were able to portray them not only in full length compositions but also bust and large head portraits which enabled the aficionados to enjoy a much more intimate view of their idols. I was watching a review on YouTube about a Japanese woodblock print book that had just been published and as the gentleman flicked the pages, there before me sat the print that I have at my artist's desk. My own print. And now I know who it's by. The print is by Utigawa Kunisada. Half of the print is missing. The part that is missing is a handsome man a handsome man is studying a long hand scroll at night with the help of a woman who is providing light from three candles stuck onto a metal ring that she had earlier been wearing fixed around the top of her head as an old and primitive form of lantern. She is also holding the start of the scroll with her right hand while he unrolls it towards him as he continues to read. The scene was adapted from the front cover illustrations of the two booklets containing the first chapter of the serial novel A Related Rustic Visage, published in 1847. The diptych is part of a series of 38 that were issued by four publishers over a period of three and a half years. Together they were intended to be Kunisara's great masterpiece series, as he was the original illustrator of the book and foremost designer. They were produced in luxurious styles with thick paper and special effects such as embossing and burnishing and were enhanced with the pattern of brown and yellow squares imitating cut gold and silver leaf used to embellish paintings. And there she is. She's beautiful. Thank you, Utagawa Kunisada. <laughs>